To mold and cast a rubber ducky into plastic duck using protocast and composicast urethane resin. This is a simple one part mold of a rubber duck. To stop the rubber duck from floating, when the composite mold is poured over it, clay and sand was put inside the rubber duck. It also could have been glued down with hot glue to the bottom of the container. The part was then coated with bubble buster to reduce bubbles from adhering to the part. We dip it into the bubble buster, but we also could have sprayed it on. Be sure to get into any crevices. The duck is placed inside a mold box, such as this PVC pipe. Any container that can handle a little heat will do. You can use Legos to build a box or aluminum foil that has been sprayed with the mold release also works well. Melt the composite mold and pour it over your part. To melt the composite mold, follow the instructions on the label. Melt in short intervals until you are comfortable with how it melts in your microwave. You can also use a double boiler or a chocolate melter. A toothpick or a paper clip can be used to pull bubbles away from any areas where bubbles may stay, such as in undercuts or sharp corners. In this case, we expect bubbles to adhere to the neck area and below the beak. We don't show it in this video, but the composite mold is cooled rapidly by placing it in the freezer. It took approximately 30 minutes to cool, but to ensure it was very cold before pouring in the urethane resin, we left the mold in the freezer for approximately 2 hours. You then remove the duct from the mold and spray the inside of the mold with a mold release that is designed for this urethane resin. The protocast urethane resin is a bright white plastic with a demold time of approximately 15 to 20 minutes. While the mold is still cold, pour in a protocast urethane resin. Urethane is mixed at a 1 to 1 by volume. If necessary, place the composite mold back in the freezer to keep it cold while the urethane is curing. This helps reduce any melting of the composite mold from the exothermic reaction that occurs with the urethane. Longer cure time resins have less of this heat. At this time, the duct is made. You can remelt the composite mold to make a new mold or you can make another casting with the composite mold mold. Here we also show the plastic duct being made with composite cast urethane resin. It works the same way. Be sure to keep the mold cool if necessary throughout the process. The keys to success for urethane resin casting is to use bubble buster when making your molds. Keep the composite mold cold throughout the process. Use a mold release designed for urethane resin and make sure it is completely dry before pouring in any urethane resin. And if possible, use a longer cure time resin system. Thank you very much. And for more information, visit composimold.com. Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bad time lots of fun.